Well, it's getting down to crunch time now. We are two days away from the eclipse, and here's the latest in terms of what we can tell you for some visibility issues. Still looks like high clouds and low clouds will be present, but a few breaks in those will be possible. Generally, your visibility getting a good shot at the eclipse, about 30%. Those would be your odds. Those numbers are maybe trending in the right direction, but still looks like the clouds for the most part are going to win out. However, could those high clouds be delayed? There are some model instances that say that will be the case, which means if you get some low cloud breaks, there would be nothing impeding the rest of your view with those high clouds. And hopefully we can get that to be the scenario. From a future track standpoint, we've got those clouds filtering out this afternoon. Tomorrow looks pretty good. We've got that sunshine in place with a few clouds around, and uh, it does look like a nice day there. These are high clouds, by the way, you see there on Sunday afternoon. Notice how those might leave for a little bit, and then we get the moisture surging back in from the south for Monday in the afternoon and the evening. And this is 1 o'clock. This particular model has done pretty well with the cloud cover so far and it again suggests that deck of low clouds for most of us, maybe some higher or greater breaks to the northwest. And also notice this doesn't have the high cloud cover passing overhead. We still could have that, but this model says it's just the low clouds we'd have to contend with. So any breaks in this would be even more favorable. And again, I think for the most part, the clouds are going to win out but there should be at least some breaks here and there in those clouds and for a lucky few that should actually bring some good news it does look like then we get transfer from eclipse talk to severe weather talk some afternoon and evening thunderstorms especially east of i-35 could be severe this particular model just has one or two other models break out more clusters and we will watch that for some severe potential those would carry all hazards potentially Damaging winds, hail, couple tornadoes, that all cannot be ruled out at this stage. Going into tonight, your lows will be cooler out to the west. We're talking uh, the low 50s to mid 50s and then the 60s out to the east. High temperatures tomorrow with that sun should be fairly warm. We're talking 81 for Waco, 82 Colleen, 80 in Marlin, 82 for Hearn, and Goldthwaite looking at 77 degrees. So to that 10-day forecast, we still have that 40% chance of storms in the afternoon for Monday. Again, it'll be a mostly cloudy day. Still, I would say some high clouds and low clouds, but hopefully we're going to trend in a direction where those high clouds may not be much of an issue and we could just get some breaks in the low clouds, which for some would mean some good visibility, but still odds of good visibility about 30%. 60% chance of storms there on Tuesday, which also could be severe. We'll see some lingering rain as we go into Wednesday. And finally, we see some sunshine break out again for Thursday. And that should leave, well, some uh, partly cloudy conditions for Friday as our temperatures will be in the mid-70s. Looks like some cloud cover will return as we go into the weekend as temperatures will still be on the comfortable side. And another chance of storms could slide through by the following Monday.